Okay, so today we're going to show you how you can remotely restart your Fire Stick from virtually anywhere in the world. Stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, today we are going to show you how you can remotely reboot your Fire TV Stick or your Fire TV Cube. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, say if you've got an elderly friend or relative that you look after their Fire Stick or Cube and they don't know how to restart it or you just want to make sure that they've restarted it to help troubleshooting any problems they might have. We know that a lot of things can be resolved. A lot of problems can be resolved by restarting your Fire Stick. I know, for instance, with my Fire Stick, when I'm not at home, I tell my family, give it a restart, give it a restart, give that a try before fixing it. They say they've done it, but they haven't. They've just given up with it. So, like I say, this guide is going to show you how you can remotely restart your Fire Stick from anywhere in the world. So first things first, you need to log into your Amazon account via a web browser, ideally from a PC, laptop or Apple Mac. If you can't do that, then go to your browser on your phone or your tablet, such as Safari, if you're using an Apple device or Google Chrome or Internet or Google Chrome on your Android device. Log in to your Amazon account by going to amazon.co.uk or Amazon com or Amazon, whatever your local Amazon is, and then go up to where it says hello and then your name, accounts and list. Just move your mouse over it. You don't have to click on it. Go down to manage your content and devices with your mouse over it. Left click once. And then what you want to do is you want to move your mouse over devices, which is just along the line that says manage your content and devices. Click devices, not that device is there. The second device is just over there. And then what you want to do is you want to click underneath Amazon devices, Fire TV. As you can see, mine, it shows three devices. Now, this is the Fire Stick that I want to reboot. This is my second Fire Stick. And I can tell which Fire Stick is which just by if I go back to my Fire Stick just quickly and I go across to the head and shoulders over there, go down and across to my Fire TV and then make sure about's highlighted, middle button, and there you go, it tells me at the top of the screen, Chris's second Fire TV. So that matches with what I can see on here, Chris's second Fire TV in the middle. So I just click on Chris's second Fire TV, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get the Fire Stick up on the screen as well, so we can see both my screen and the Fire Stick. So that's just gonna be left down there in the bottom right-hand corner. And here, under Device Health, there you go, I've got the connection and it says there, excellent connection. Now, sometimes this might say the device is disconnected. So just click on refresh and just leave it there for a little while. It might take a while before it actually refreshes. And there you go. I've actually got now, I've left it for a couple of seconds. I've actually got restart your device come up just on the left there. So if I move my mouse over, restart your Fire TV, which is just underneath, and then left click once, it then says restart in progress. Now, there is a little bit of a delay. Here we go. My Fire Stick is now powering off, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner. And uh, that's it. It's now powered off and it's going to power back on again in a few seconds, just be patient with it. There we go, we've got the Fire TV logo and it might take a few seconds, but here we go, it's restarting here. This is also good for perhaps helping somebody diagnose a problem because here under device health, there you go, it tells you the connection status. So it says whether or not the signal is excellent, whether it's good, whether it's poor, it tells you how much free space is on the Fire Stick. It also tells you if the remote control is connected or not. So this is a great way of being able to tell if there's a particular problem, like it could be that your friend or relative's fire stick is running out of space. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't mean you do have to log in to their account to be able to do this. But if they are a good friend or a relative, 
and they trust you, then there shouldn't be a problem with that. And as you can see now, the Fire Stick has restarted and just on the screen underneath Restart Your Fire TV, the word success has appeared. But also, as I say with these things here, if there was a problem with the connection, you've got to get help there. So that gives you some tips on how you can help your friend or your relatives or people at home with any problems they've got, say, with the signal. And under data storage there, there you go, you've got to get help there. So that, again, guides them or guides you to help guide them on how to clear space on your fire stick and get help there under remote control. If there was a problem with the connection to the remote there, it would give you some guide on how to reconnect the remote control. Or you could have a look at my videos because I've done a few videos here on how to reconnect to remote control if you've got problems. Likewise, if you're running out of space and likewise, if you've got connection problems too. So there you go. I hope this guide helped. It told you. So there you go. This guide showed you how you can remote restart your Fire Stick and also help your relatives or your friends or people at home on how to solve problems that they might well have with the Fire TV Stick or Fire TV Cube. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV Sticks, Fire TV Cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.